Okay, in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the video uh, export. Now, be aware that it, if you have a, a long video, you may want to do two or three exports because if it's too long, it'll take a long time to export. So do that from the beginning. So what you want to do is start with your media, click on the video button right here, and just be aware. So I'll click create video. Now, this is really important. You see it says 10 seconds. That means your whole video is only 10 seconds. So if you don't change that, you're going to have problems. So let's go with 40 seconds. And like I said, you should probably do, depending on your computer, three short 40-second exports. I know it's not the whole project in one shot, but if you do everything, you'll have some problems. So you start here. And what you do is you move, let's say, the next scene and you frame it. So framing it is important. Like, like if, if you framed it like this, like that's kind of odd. So, you know, you want to try to frame it this way. Then we press the plus button. Then let's say you want to showcase this woman standing there. So you press again, plus. And let's finish off with these construction guys. Um, and maybe, now one of the things you want to avoid doing is doing like too many fancy camera work here. Because let, let's have a look. Let's test it first of all. So if I click over here, you see my, and then I press play, we'll see what it looks like. And you see it with the time that you have. So the more you add on, the more you need to add time here. So that actually does work. So, you know, I was saying to just be careful with sharp camera angles. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go back and I'm going to focus. What is this woman looking at? Maybe, and maybe I want her in the photo and I press plus. Then I'm going to go over here and this guy is shooting that. So I'm going to go to him and I'll press plus. So you see every time I add it, it's going to be even faster. So let's go quick and press play. So now if I think it's too fast, I need to add time. Now you may also want to be cognizant that if it's too slow, that's also probably bad. And you see how the shot is properly framed. And if I don't like how it's framed, I can, you know, redo that one uh, and so on. So let's pretend I'm happy with this and I would encourage you to review it from the beginning and then press play and okay, so I'm happy. So I'm gonna click on export and well, you're gonna see that it says, well, I just made a video, how come it's empty? Well, it remembers that you made one. So you click here, click on it. Now, if you made three or four because they're all longer, you're gonna have to export them one at a time, okay? So I'm gonna just go there and there it is. Then I click start export. Obviously, uh, you know, choose a folder and give it a name. I'm just going to go with, uh, you know, the main folder, I guess. Well, right now it's being finicky. So I'll just click on Twin Motion, select folder, and it'll probably just call it Video 1, is my, if I recall. Uh, oh, yeah, because I, I didn't rename it here. I would have had to rename it. You can see... Uh, I didn't rename it, so it just video one. And it, it'll take two or three minutes if you do 40, 50 second clips. But if you do like a five minute clip, just beware your computer might have some issues with that. Okay, so the video is the nicest way to go. If you can put it on a YouTube link and share it with me, that would be the best. That way I could share it with people in the community and they can have a look at what we're doing. Uh, so if you have any other questions, uh, let me know. And have a good one.